For our next story, let's talk about what goes on at the heart of the Earth. I'm talking about the Earth's inner core. It is a huge metal ball. It is made up mainly of iron and it gets hot. Anywhere between 5,000 to 6,000 degrees Celsius. What makes this core fascinating is that it spins. Think of it as one spinning top, that is the core, inside another bigger spinning top, that is the Earth. But the two do not spin together. In fact, according to a recent study, the Earth's inner core is spinning in reverse. What does this mean for us? Here's a report. The Earth seems to have had a change of heart. We're talking about the Earth's core, the innermost part of the planet. Its spin has changed dramatically in recent years. According to a recent study, the Earth's inner core temporarily stopped rotating and then changed its direction. It's now going in reverse. This might sound bizarre and it invites a number of questions. Does this mean the Earth is also going in reverse? Is this apocalyptic? Well, not at all. But before we explain what this means for us, let's go back to Science 101. The Earth is made up of a lot of layers and it's a volatile planet. The topmost layer is the crust, it's ever shifting. Then we have the mantle, this is where behemoth masses of rock flow. Go deeper and you will reach the core. This has two levels, the outer core which is liquid, it holds molten metals that create currents. They conjure the Earth's magnetic field. So this layer is important. Go even deeper and you will find the inner core. This is a solid metal ball, about 70% as wide as the Moon, and it rotates much like our planet. But here's the catch. The inner core rotates independently of our spinning planet, kind of like a spinning top inside an even bigger spinning top and the two don't always cooperate. The Earth spins roughly 360 degrees in a day. That's how it completes a single day. But the inner core rotates about one degree faster than the Earth every year. So this causes time differences. Of course, one degree per year is not a lot. It's imperceptible to Earthlings, but scientists can track and measure the difference. When the core spins slowly, the liquid around it speeds up so the Earth rotates faster. This shortens the length of a day, but the changes translate to merely thousands of a second in a day. That may sound anticlimactic, but it's intriguing to researchers, especially since the inner core is a relatively newfound discovery. It was discovered by Danish seismologist Inge Lehmann in 1936. The question remains, why is the core going in reverse? Scientists are not sure, but according to the study, this could be part of a 70-year-long cycle of the core's movements, which sees changes due to the magnetic field. So the reversal in the spin can be part of the core's nature. Even though the core is at the heart of much of what happens on Earth, from volcanic eruptions to earthquakes, we don't know much about it. It is the Earth's deep interior, so it's impossible to observe or sample directly. While there are still several unanswered questions, this study does bring us one step closer to understanding the centre of the Earth. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. 
One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.